Hello, my name is Joey Newman, and I'm here with WHVA reporting on the basketball game. The girls' team just sadly lost 57-45, to and now the boys' team hopes that they can bounce back after a loss this season already to Bearden and win this game. It'll be a close one. It should be a great game. And now over to Keegan with some interviews. Thanks, Joey. Uh, I'm down here with Coach Callaway, and uh, so, Coach, how do you think... How do you think this tonight's game is going to go? Well, I hope our guys can come out here and play as hard as they can. I feel like we've got a good shot. Uh, last time uh, we didn't do as well as we had liked, but uh, I think that we're more prepared this time. I think we're ready to go, and hopefully we can come out with a win. Awesome. Um, what, what are some ways you guys have prepared for this upcoming game? Well, we just want to make sure that we can keep their point guard from hurting us too badly. Uh, their big man also hurt us. We want to keep him in check and just do a good job rebounding, and I think we've got a good shot. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Uh, now we're going to turn it over to Brandon. Thanks, Keegan. We're here with Mr. Ash. How, exi- how exactly do you see tonight's game turning out? Do you see it being a good ending, or, or do you see it being another tough game like the past two games? Well, I think we're going to have a tough match. I mean, this boys' team right here is ranked number two in the state. The girls' team that we just finished with was ranked in the top ten. Uh, our kids, you know, they're going to fight till the end. That's just like we saw the girls just now. They never quit, and that's, that's what I love to see is, you know, even if you're up against a really tough opponent, you don't quit, you don't give up, you fight your way all the way to the end. I think the boys will do the same thing. I hope they do. All right, thanks, Mr. Ash. Let's take it to Nathan with the game starting to, to keep an update rolling. This is the first time that both Blaine Shockley and Caleb Clevenger are out of the starting lineup. So after uh, losing a bunch of games in a row, Coach decided to mix up the lineup and insert some new players and see if we can get a spark. One, one big shock this team is that Tyler Durden came out last week with an ankle injury. And that's going to be big for this team today. Yeah, he's out uh, talking to Tyler before the game. He said that he uh, has a sprained Achilles tendon in his foot and will be out at least until the Carnes game here in about a couple weeks. At the end of the first quarter, Bearden is up 22-13. It looks like it's going to be a close and great game. At the start of the second quarter, Bearden winning, leading the game 22-13. Carn Valley back with their starting lineup here to start the second quarter. Aaron Dykes, the point guard, the freshman. And with the insert of uh, senior Jordan McCroskey at post, who just got another rebound and is heading to the free throw line. McCroskey didn't play in the uh, first quarter, but uh, he's in right now for uh, Chad Yance in his first group. Jordan McCroskey's first free throw is in. Got the lead to uh, Bearden's lead to eight. The Hawks have kept uh, have stayed in the game so far against one of the best teams in the state. So if we can keep in this game for as long as we can, we might start to put some pressure on Bearden. Bearden breaking the fast on the fast break and a foul call on Jordan McCroskey. The rest has scored a lot of fouls here so far. It's already the eighth foul on Harden Valley, and we're only 20 seconds into the second quarter. So, However, the foul calls have been pretty even on both sides, as Bearden has six already, too. So I think the rest are just going to be tired of this game and not let the players get away with too much uh, physical play down low. And I'm welcomed back by uh, my partner, Joey, who just had to do an interview uh, down on the court. So welcome back, Joey. Hello. I'm also here with guest commentator, Anders Cook. Anders, how are you feeling about this game already? Uh, I think we need to hit more shots, get them going, not running around so much, and set it up and run some plays. At the end of the half, the Hawks are winning 37-35. Looks like it's going to be another close one. We're here with Cameron Ramsey from the student section of Bearden. Now, Hardin Valley compared to Bearden, this is a pretty tough game. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, last semester, it was ob- obviously the game went a little bit more in our favor, but uh, this is a really good game. I'm loving it so far. Hardin Valley's playing very well. Our guys are playing well, too. Um, and it's fun to watch and get into the game, especially with all the students from Hardin Valley and all the students from Bearden here. All right, well, we definitely appreciate you, Cameron. Now let's take it back to Nathan to get updates on the second half. We're here with Noah from the student section. 
Do you have any thoughts on how close the game is after having a rough start? Uh, we're playing a lot better than we have the past few games, that's for sure. I mean, I'm really glad, though. I'd like to be Bearden. Do you have any comments on the student section? Is there anything you think you guys could improve on? Do you think you guys have improved so far? Uh, I think we've gotten better since the, you know, the sitting down at halftime and everything. And we probably can try and get louder. And, I mean, just keep on going from there. So. All right. All right, thanks, Noah. Welcome back here, uh, Nathan White here for WHVA, and I'm joined by Hayden Hill and Alex Brown, both seniors from the student section. Welcome, guys. Hey, how, how are you guys? It's good to be here. So, Harden Valley, uh, now, the game is now tied after Bearden hits the shot, and it is 37-37. So, what do you guys think of the game so far, Alex? I've seen a lot of, a lot of good things during the game. I just, I just feel like we need to drive more and just get... Yeah. Get fouled. Free throws are free throws are essential when you're playing basketball. Definitely. And shot and shot is no good. And so, what do you think of Aaron Dyke's uh, performance so far, seeing as you did play with him in football this year? Well, I don't really know a ton about basketball to evaluate his performance, but he is playing varsity as a freshman, which means he's got to be pretty good. This, th thank you, Hayden, for that insightful commentary. <laughs> And, for example, Aaron Dykes with the runner to put the Hawks back up by two. So he scored, so he's doing fine. Exactly. I mean, this kid is phenomenal when it comes to defense. Like He's guarding he's guarding a senior, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, he's... Yeah. yeah Bearden's point guard is very quick and athletic, so it's a very difficult matchup for him, and he's handled it very well. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> At the end of the third quarter, the Hawks are down 47-61. However, there's still a lot of basketball left to go. Let's hope the Hawks can put a leash on those Bulldogs. Lost 62 to 83. Another game we did not get a W in the books. Hey, I'm Keegan, and I'm here with Tyler Durden. So, Tyler, um, what what challenges have you faced this season as a player, personally, or as a team? Uh, well, one, my uh, foot injury, which is a uh, strained muscle in my Achilles, and I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I'm trying to get back as soon as possible and get it healed. And uh, as a team. I just think we need to. I just think we need to play more as a team. I don't think we're we're not energetic as we used to be in the beginning. I, I just doesn't feel like nothing's really like the same anymore. Ever since we have like all these losing streaks, it just seems different. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you see yourself and as a team overcoming these challenges later on in the season? Uh, I think we just need to pick it up in practice, honestly, like because practice makes perfect. All right, thank you. 